Hello and welcome to a new video about control engineering. Last time we did an analysis of the control loop. Well, the control loop, we did a model of the control loop. I have again drawn it here a little bit. Yeah? So we said, okay, there is a regulator transfer function, there is a system transfer function, and well, we analyzed this. Yeah? And we had several transfer functions. This is the picture from last time. We said there's a reference transfer function, there's a disturbance transfer function, how reference values and disturbance values are transferred to the output. A big role is also the open loop transfer function, which will help us simply to analyze. This time we are going to talk about the controller itself, the regulator. Why we, are, why we only talk about the regulator? Well, usually we are, have the situation where the system is given. Okay? So we have selected the correcting variable. We have selected the controlled variable. The, the system is there. Yeah? The, the, the system is given. Yeah? This is the usual situation. So the usual situation is simply that fs, the transfer function of the system, is given. And usually cannot be changed. Yeah? I'll simply write and cannot be changed. So what is left to influence our, our transfer functions? Controller transfer function, regulator transfer function. This I can select, I have to select. Okay, so fr needs to be selected. And of course, how are we going to select it? Well, that's the task now of control engineering. Yeah? It should help us to select a proper controller for my system. Yeah? So, we want to enable a good controlling. Yeah? So, to enable good controlling, whatever this, whatever this is. Yeah? So, we have to select FR. Yeah? We have once heard there are two different possibilities. Yeah? There is, on one hand side, there are the switching controllers. Yeah. Switching. Controller. Yeah. And on the other side, there are the continuous controllers. Okay. So here we have the continuous controller. Remember the difference? Yeah. I will repeat it once for you. There is a separate video about this. Yeah. Here at the switching controllers, why the correcting variable can only have certain values. Yeah. Can only have certain values. Yeah. Why will change in steps. Yeah? So there are only distinct values which Y can have. Yeah? Maybe two, three, yeah? one would be stupid, of course. Yeah? There needs to be at least zero and one. Yeah? But switching. Yeah? The, the, the output of the controller is switched from one value to a certain other value and nothing in between. Yeah? If we have values in between, yeah? Then we have a continuous controller because here y can be anything. Well, that's not entirely true. Of course, there are minimum and maximum values, uh, but in between, it can be any any value in between. Yeah, uh, I will try it within a range. 
Uh, so y can be anything within the range, so there's a minimum value, a maximum value, but in between it can be any value, tiny change also is possible. Uh, that's the continuous controller. There will be one video switching controller uh, and several video uh, videos about continuous controllers, because continuous controllers are simply more complex. Uh, switching controllers this will then be next video, switching controllers, will be a longer video. Yeah? However, we will handle switching, switching controller in this one video. Yeah? And afterwards we will switch, switch to continuous controllers. Yeah? Then we will hear different type of continuous controllers. But that's then after the next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.